Hello. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's going down, bud? Not much, man. We doing this or what? Yeah, let's throw it down. Could you pick me up? Yep. See you in ten minutes. See you in a bit. Let's go to the McDonald's house. Whoa. Let's go to the McDonald's. Let's go to the McDonald's house Whoa. and play some songs. It's a funny place where anything can happen This man's in pain, he needs an ambulance The walls have seen things you can imagine I can feel it There's traces of things from past and present Settle down here, bud And Kyle's always ready to throw it down The children will be waiting so for you So let's go to the McDonald's house Whoa. Let's go to the McDonald's Let's go to the McDonald's house Ooh. and play some songs. Let's go to the McDonald's house. Ooh. Let's go to the McDonald's. Let's go to the McDonald's house Ooh. and play some songs. Thanks, everybody. I know you're 
here and uh, something was crossing my mind uh, earlier today uh, I was really just I started thinking about uh, parallel parallel universes you know and uh, like alternate dimensions like you know another dimension and uh, I was thinking like you know what what if they exist you know what if it's actually what if that what if that stuff's real what if that shit's real so basically I mean not only that but what's the difference between like an alternate reality and a parallel universe? I know it's the same thing. I mean, like, you know, another thing I was thinking about like, since I only eat meat, I only, I only eat a diet mostly comprised of meat, I figure that maybe me in the other universe only eats old leftover food from, from restaurants out back that he finds in the garbage, you know what I mean? Maybe he just, he has no income and, you know, he's still a great guy, like, I mean, I love the guy and everything, but he can't afford to buy meat at the supermarket, so he's forced to go back to Gene's restaurant in St. George and just dig through the scraps, you know, maybe find some leftover roast beef and stuff. And I know it sounds disgusting to me and you, but it's an alternate reality. I mean, definitely very likely that that's happening right now. Another small difference I was thinking about, I like to wear shorts, you know. I like to wear shorts, you know, my legs are free. Even when it's minus four, it's outside, you know, and people are, people always say, hey, are you from Florida? And it's like, yeah, I'm from Florida, you idiot. Like, no, I'm not from Florida. It's like wearing shorts, but maybe the alternate reality me doesn't wear shorts. Maybe all he wears is a bike helmet. You know what I mean? Nothing else. Like, and I don't know why, like, he's just trying to protect his brain, right? Like, because the brain is pretty sensitive, you know? A lot of people don't realize that. The brain is like the consistency of an egg, right? So, I mean, you gotta take care of your noggin. So, he just probably really cares about that stuff. I would love to meet the other me, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe hang out, have butt babies, you know? I don't know. Uh, he's probably really good at Call of Dudes. Uh, Cause I know I am. Let's kill that guy. So maybe, maybe in the alternate reality, maybe Hitler won the war, you know what I mean? They created, uh, a nuclear weapon or even something more powerful more powerful than a nuke you know and I mean they won they won they didn't give up on the research they still made they made some type of bomb they took out they took out they took over you know and right now everybody speaks German you know alternate me right now you know and it's possible you know instead of call of dudes Nazi zombies it'd be zombie Yankees I guess you know, if they're zombies, doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not really biased against it. I mean, kill any kind of zombie. But I was thinking, like alternate reality, right? That's one thing. Parallel universe, so it's a whole another, it's a whole another creek right there. You know, it's not the same river, man. Like I think things there could be really crazy, like. You know the laws of nature that we know today that may not even exist. Like maybe I, I, me over there, parallel universe me, has an ass for face. You know, and that's normal. Very likely. 
I mean, like, the laws of nature just don't apply, so you could stand up and have a shit, and your shit just floats into another pile of shit that gets collected. It's like a massive collection of excrement and whatnot. You know, we don't, they don't need, like, sewer systems like we have over there. Like, they have different type of shit technology, and, you know, I mean, it's probably better for society because, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of, you know, environmental damage that comes with human waste, right? You know, so... That's important. There's people that believe there's a way to open up a gate, like a gateway, to one of these other universes, you know, and it's believed that that would open up, like I've talked to global scientists and stuff, like, that would open up uh, some type of a shitty wormhole to another dimension, you know, and then we just kind of have to snake our way in there, so... Scientists are on board, and not right now, and I'm really just you know trying to figure out like how to fill out grants and stuff, and get the government to help me out with this. And you know we're going back to space, baby. You know, look out. That's all I gotta say. It's Ryan, it's Ryan, spot of the week. It's Ryan, it's Ryan.
Marx made a list of the best albums in the history of the human being. Records we all should talk about. An album we could all listen to this week. Okay, number four in the best albums in the history of the human being is Bolt of the Woods by the 13th Four Elevators. Friggin', this is the album that Stacy had to finish after they put Rocky and Rusk institution for the criminally insane and uh, if you think that the albums that preceded this are good well it just shows that Stacy Sutherland man fucking laid down the law that he had to be killed because of the freaking ripples that he freaking formed with that album and also it's funny you think of that being the fourth best album in the history of human being well the fourth best song in the history of human being is on this album it's called Scarlet and Gold and just not to be outdone by the Kennedys or anything like that, they even have another song on the, on the list, on the fucking list. So let's see. Number 41 is never another. Holy shit. So there you go. Like friggin' this album. I can't believe it. The first time I heard this was Christmas Day 1990. And I seriously, I didn't shit myself, but I seriously almost did. Like when you hear a record like this for the first time, Holy shit. That's all I can say, man. That's all I can say. <laughs> Marx made a list of the best albums in the history of the human being. Records we all should talk about. An album we could all listen to this week.
Somehow